done more and short of doing more ahead of this yesterday they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference i understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh for everybody involved and i appreciate the fact that they brought in uh outside counsel and did a thorough organization and i think that that is something that was clearly uh necessary in this situation but the fact that it was able to go on all day the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not we are not here Stephen A to further blame women oh that is not why we are here <laughs> First of all, let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. We'd be remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice at West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. He pled guilty, paid a fine, and then again in 2009 for domestic battery after an incident at Morgantown Bar. The domestic battery case never went to trial. It was settled in August of 2009. He paid a $100 fine and court costs, plus had to do 40 hours of community service. Now, that was 13 years ago. He settled and paid both fines. So, Woj, why are the Celtics choosing him as their next head coach? Why you bring it up? Adrian Payne was shot and killed in Orlando, Florida. Played four seasons in the NBA with multiple teams. In 2018, he was waived by the Magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault at Michigan State in 2010. No charges were filed in that case. His name did surface in court testimony involving a case where his former teammate and another man, they've been indicted for capital murder. Okay, so you get my point here. She tried to eviscerate Stephen A. Smith on first take during the whole Ime Adoka scandal after the Celtics coach had an improper relationship with a staff member. She then called out Joe Mazzula, who became the interim head coach for the Celtics after the scandal broke out and gave harsh criticism about his past. Then a month later, during the reporting of Adrian Payne's death, Malika Andrews thought it was okay to bring up the ex-Michigan State star's alleged essay scandal while talking about his death from a shooting. And finally on... Malika, Malika, Malika. Thank you, Clash of Sports. Um, Malika, Malika, Malika. Malika... It's very obvious now that you are biased because I haven't heard anything. It's bad enough that you never mentioned anything about Dana White, at least that I'm aware of, for him beating his wife. I'm not aware of you even talking about Ben Roethlisberger. I, as a matter of fact, I didn't hear y'all talking about that at all. Um... Multiple times he was accused of S.A. You don't have no smoke for nobody but black men. And I know black men can be a bit much. But this is way over the top. You don't have anything to say about Josh Giddy, the scandal, that this guy might have slept with a 15-year-old. And since you seem to love to be the bearer and the bringer of sexual abuse and sexual misconduct against women, I would have thought it would just be fitting that you would be number one to talk about Josh Giddy and his scandal. But you haven't said now not a mumbling word. Not a mumbling word. And that's why, okay, that's why we gotta, you got to be dealt with. Because we want to know what your objective is. Are you a mole? Are you a plant? Are you somebody that's placed right in that position to keep throwing dirt on black men? Is that why you have this? I mean, I, I, I've read your story. I know you had to, you, you, you suffer with a lot of um, uh, issues. And I don't know if that's one of the reasons why you harbor so much anger towards 
black men. It could possibly be. Okay? But it shows. And you too obvious with your shit now. You way too obvious. And unless you're going to cover Josh Giddy, Dana White, Breath, Roethlisberger, any of those guys, you really need to shut up. You really, really, really do. You need to stop it and you need to shut it down. Because all the words on the street is they calling you a bitch. And you already know. You already know what that means. So with that being said, I mean, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Are you even aware of this? Are you even aware of the silence from Malika Andrews and ESPN and all the rest of these pundits about this Josh Giddy scandal? Let's hear it. Leave your comments below. Like what you hear? Subscribe. Share the channel. We'll talk about it.